After you install the plugin, go to Window Extension Seamless Transitions. The plugin opens up as a panel and within it you'll find that each type of transition effect is separated into category folders and you can search for them using the search field for quick access you can also drag your favorite or most used transition into the quick access location so you can use them faster so how do you apply a transition let's say you want to apply a camera overshoot transition between two clips to apply it first add the two clips into your composition then trim the clip so that the starting clip ends when you want the second clip to begin then place the complete head between the clips and double click to apply and you'll see that this transition appears as its own pre-composed composition in an orange label color you'll also see that there is a marker indicating where the cut should be placed to help you better align it and then you can play it back to render it out up at the top you'll see that there's some marine if you want to correct that you can just scale up the clip slightly until it disappears and then we can play it back and this is our final result and that's it it's really simple now you can use the simple double click method to apply any of the transitions to one composition for example you can see here in this comp i have several video clip layers and several seamless transitions between them using these transitions and after effects I'm able to create really the dynamic openers for my videos and you can as well so now let's go over the Premiere Pro seamless transitions after you install just open up Premiere Pro go to window extension seamless transitions let's search for the camera transition if we want to apply it between these two clips in our timeline simply move the play to the cut point between the two clips then double click to apply it in the plugin will auto import all of the transition elements in the timeline including the sound effects then you can render it out to see the final result also there's a similar transition available in the after effects plugin but it has some really cool added camera ui in the transition if you guys have any more questions be sure to leave a comment below and yeah i'll see you next time bye